Fan Jin Shi, the daughter of Dun Huang. The Silk Road connected the cultures of East and West through commerce as early as the Han Dynasty, 130 BC. Along it, at an old outpost on the edge of the Gobi Desert in Dunhuang, Gansu Province of China, is a 1,650-year-old UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Morgao Grottoes. Some of the world's oldest artifacts are there, including wall paintings, calligraphy, instruments, and the Diamond Sutra, believed to be the earliest printed book in history. Dunhuang is an indispensable part of my life. Chinese archaeologist Fan Jinshi may have been a tiny woman. The spectacled lady's passion for the Mokka grottoes was immensurable. Fan's first visit to Dunhuang in 1962 was a turning point in her life. She was studying archaeology in the Department of History at Peking University, and Dunhuang was a huge contrast to modern Beijing. She lived in a grass-roofed hut in the desert, with no electricity or running water. Yet, she still fell in love with the beauty and history of the grottoes. After graduation, she got on the first bus back to Dunhuang and stayed for more than half a century. Her immensurable passion for the Mokka grottoes led her to be known as the daughter of Dunhuang. Fan became an explorer and conservator of the Dunhuang caves and the cultural treasures. She established a chronological catalogue of the Mokka grottoes and in the 1990s spearheaded the international Dunhuang project's effort to digitize the records preserve them and bring them international awareness. When the rapid growth of tourism threatened the caves, Fan worked with the government in creating legislation for cultural preservation that was modeled upon worldwide. Fan Jinshi is one of the world's leading archaeologists. Her life's work has been vital in the preservation of one of the great cultural wonders of the world and an inspiration to the next generation of archaeologists. That is why in 2019, Fan Jinshi was awarded the Loi Chi Wu Prize, Positive Energy Prize. Yeah.